We have here with Dr. Mini KM, Chairperson, Department of Civil Engineering, Amada School of Engineering, Etimade, Coimbatore. How difficult is civil engineering for uh, sort of an average students to take on? Is it that difficult to be an engineering in civil engineering? Is it a difficult task? Is it you, you, you have done your graduation, post-graduation, yeah. you have done your research, you've been teaching for the last so many years. Uh, if something has to be told to students, because they fear, yeah. you know, uh, they feel, you know, I'm not saying anything about any, any other subjects, but civil engineering, they feel that it's a tough subject to learn and grasp. Is that true, ma'am? It's not true. Okay, civil, enge <laughs> <laughs> civil engineering is something interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So what we used to, what I used to tell my students is all other cases, like if it is electrical, electronics, and all, they are saying the current is flowing, yeah. but they cannot see. We have to visualize. Okay, current is flowing. Yeah. But in the civil engineering, some you construction. See the each level construction. Yeah, we can watch. see that, and if it is a failure, we can see there some cracks are there. So everything is visible. So from our eyes itself, we can visualize it, and we can do the judgment. But don't you think it's very hard for a civil engineer to stand, you know, on the roadside and under the buildings? I've seen the wearing lots of protections yeah. and this and that. Uh, is there a risk involved or what are the safety measures uh, one should take mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in terms of while they're in the profession? Because it's again, uh, people yeah. say, you know, yeah. uh, unlike other uh, streams, streams yeah. uh, it, it, is, it is tough to work but easy to learn. Is yeah. that what I'm saying? It is tough to work as a civil engineer, but easy yeah. to learn the subject. Is that what you say, uh, uh, what you said or what I'm saying is no, right or wrong? it depends on their viewpoint. Individuals. Yeah, okay. individuals viewpoint. Because this is one career which we can enjoy. We'll get some satisfaction after the completion of each project. Yeah, which is not so... Uh, I feel... <laughs> <laughs> Hope others don't because, visit you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because our students... Yeah, seeing is believing. I agree yeah, with yeah, you. Yeah, our yeah. students, they used to send me that videos where they are involved in the construction, large okay. construction projects and they will see ma'am after completing the project, I'm very happy okay. and we want to say thank you to all our faculty who trained to trained us to take care of such challenges like that we used to get a lot of messages from our own students. Oh wonderful. So it isn't difficult? It isn't difficult and uh, all these core courses will make them thorough during their second, third and fourth semester. So that they will cover and we will make sure that the students are very familiar or they are very much exposed to the basics. So nice to hear that it's not, it, is, it isn't really tough, it all depends on the individual's taste individual and liking. And the students, we can do it and as I told our team of faculty, they will help the students and a team of supporting staff also. Very uh, student friendly and they will see the, all the aspects of the students and if any student is finding it difficult, they will train them separately. Okay. The strength of the department is on the lab. Yeah. Right? Maybe after the faculties, it's a lab which teaches our students to be the best engineers of the future. Uh, can you just tell me as to uh, how your labs look like in the sense that, mm -hmm. of course, uh, we talk about universal testing machines, ten, tensiles, Brinner, yeah, yeah, compression, yeah. all, all those testing have. machines under your wing because of the civil engineering. H how often do you change these machines? Because again, when I said about the technology, what you found last year, is not the same this year because the technology keeps changing, the missions keep changing, the, the working pattern keeps changing, the outcome keeps changing. So how do you keep a tap of all this that we must give the, the, the latest knowledge on the missions that you have in the labs? Mm -hmm. So my question is, do you change your machines, not year on year, as and when required when yeah. the technology changes? Yeah. Do you do that or you still use those old type of, uh, you know, Brindle testing machines or Vickers testing machines, the old types, you know, still yeah. teach them, which has absolutely no relevance for our students when they go mm. into the real field of real civil field, engineering. Yeah. So do you do that? So I would like you to tell me something about your flagship okay. lab, uh, lab, which you're running in your department. Over to you, ma'am. Yeah. So all our labs are fully equipped. Right. So apart from the regular labs with the highly sophisticated equipments, we have uh, research labs. So some of the research labs are, we have this high strength concrete lab, then energy efficient materials lab, advanced water treatment okay. processing lab. So all these are the research labs. So we'll encourage our students also to uh, do research in these labs along with the faculty. Great. And That's finally nice. that will come up with some sort of publications. So the advantage is when this publication is coming, that will give some more weightage for the students for their higher studies, especially for the MS programs. in. So all these labs are fully equipped with highly sophisticated facilities and we will make the students also to use the labs. Okay. 
You have a separate library for your department? Yeah, we uh, have, have a separate master library. library that yeah, I master know, library we have. But you have a separate library separate for your Separate library students. we have, yeah. I want to ask you a question. Why should a student who is just watching this, ask me a question. Krish, why should I join Amrita? What would be answer? See, Namrata, apart from all the facilities, that is the academic and the co-curricular, extracurricular facilities, what we are providing, it's a personal mentoring we are doing for the students. So, for each student, uh, it's like a system is for each 20, every set of 20 students, there is a faculty advisor. So, that faculty advisor, they will take care of their academic as well as the personal. So, this personal mentoring is happening in the uh, students. So, we know the progress of the students in every aspect and all our faculty are highly qualified, dedicated and is a young team. So, they can do a lot for the students Wonderful. and the parents also, they are also very happy. So, after the four years of graduation for the convocation, they used to come and the feedback we are getting from the parents are really great. That's what we are looking for. Wonderful. We'll make the, apart from the academics, we are making them to good citizens. Well, great. That's, That's what... Uh, that's we nice. That, 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 that good citizenship, I just would like to hit on, nail on the particular uh, two words what you mentioned, because I believe that education yeah. is not by number of degrees that degrees you get, and, yeah. but that, then you become literate. When you have two degrees or three degrees of postgraduate, you become literate, but you really become educated when you start following certain disciplines, certain values, certain ethics, mm -hmm. certain respects that you yeah. give to others. So on those field, can I say Amada stands far ahead compared yeah, to others? definitely, right? definitely. You teach them values, you teach them discipline, yeah. you teach them respect, yeah. you teach them our culture, we teach them mm -hmm. about ethics. In this case, you think Amada can be yeah. totally a different institution where we not only impart yeah. your curriculum or academics, mm. also add on to this, which makes a student of Amada mm. totally unique and different. Yeah, they, as you rightly said, become the true citizens of our country. Country, yeah. So thank you so much for your time, ma'am. Thank you. All the very thank best. You. I'm sure the viewers would have certainly uh, gone through the talk and would now take a call, should I be a civil engineer? And I'm sure that you will be. Thank you so much for listening to us.